so now we'll see how to determine uh, pressure drop by using a u2 manometer okay so here you have u2 manometer which is connected to a pipeline in which the fluid is flowing so this is upstream and this is a downstream end. and by means of a pressure force we are going to connect it to the u2 manometer and this is the fluid which is passing through the pipeline i call it as material a and the density of uh, the material is rho a similarly at this side also we have material a and the density is rho a and the manometric fluid is filled with the material b and the density is rho b so now what i'll do is i will be applying the hydrostatic equilibrium condition between stations i call this as station a and this as station b c d a okay so if i apply the hydrostatic equilibrium condition between a and c then what will be the equation sir here i will have p c minus p a is equal to g by g c density that is rho a bracket start uh, z a minus z c i call this as equation number 1 okay so now uh, you will have p c is equal to p a plus g by g c rho a bracket start z a minus z c is equal to equation 1.1 just i modified nothing else now if i apply the hydrostatic equilibrium condition i am not remember i am not writing the steps okay so you have to write the description also so if we apply the bernoulli hydrostatic equilibrium condition between we have applied between a and c now i will apply between c and d so if i apply this one here what will i get i will get it as pc minus pd is equal to g by gc and the density is what rho b and this will become z d minus z c okay this way i call it as equation number 1 2 so now what i will do is i will substitute this equation 1.1 in equation number 2 to eliminate this c so c is already given to us so instead of this pc i will substitute this entire value here so if i substitute what i will get i will get it as pa instead of pc pa plus g by gc rho a za a minus z c minus pd is equal to g by gc rho b z d minus z c okay so now uh, i'll take this pd this side and remaining part this side so what will happen this will become pd is equal to pa plus g by g c rho a z a minus z c okay so this will become plus this will become minus minus g by g c rho b z d minus z c okay so this i call it as equation 2.1 okay now i will apply the equation between hydrostatic equilibrium condition between the last step that is b and d i will apply it okay so now when i apply what will happen i will get i will get it as p d minus p b is equal to g by g c and then what is the density that is rho a okay and then this will become z b minus z d so this i call it as equation number 3 so now what i'll do is i will substitute pd for equation 2.1 in this equation number 3 okay and that gives me the final result let us see now what will happen so this entire step will come here p a plus g by g c rho a z a minus z c minus g by g c rho b z d minus z c so this is p d minus p b is equal to remaining step this will come as it is g by g c rho a z b minus z d okay so now what is what we require we require p a minus p b in terms of r okay so here p a is passed to minus p b so all this part is correct now this entire this term this term i'll take it to right hand side of the equation nothing else i am going to do it in the next step let us see what will happen so i'll keep it here yeah now it is visible so p a 
I will write as it is minus PB I will write as it is. Now this step will go right hand side, this step will go the right hand side. Now this I will write as it is G by GC rho A ZB minus ZD. So this will go this side, so minus minus G by GC rho A ZA minus ZC. This will become positive plus G by GC rho B ZD minus ZC. Okay. So let us see. Uh, we will try to uh, modify this. PA, this I will write as like this only PA minus PB is equal to, I will take G by GC as common in all the things. G by GC. Now rho A ZA, rho A ZA minus rho A ZA minus rho A ZA plus rho A ZC plus rho B ZA minus rho B ZA C. Okay. So now what we will do is we will take uh, G by G C and then I will take rho A as common rho A I will take as common. So this you will have here ZA minus ZD minus ZA plus ZC and here as rho B ZD minus this will become ZC. So now you know from that diagram okay from here we can write ZA is equal to ZB we can write and then we can write ZD minus ZC ZD minus ZC as R. So I will write here the conditions. Here write as ZA is equal to ZB and the second one will is what? ZD minus ZC is equal to RM. So let us substitute in this equation. So here you have ZA and ZB. So these two will get cancelled. Now ZD minus ZC is RM and here also you have RM. But here see G by GC bracket start rho A and here ZC minus ZD and here plus rho B ZD minus ZC. So here you will get you know one thing rho of M is greater than rho of A. Therefore we will write as G by GC bracket start. Uh, minus rho A ZD minus ZC plus rho B ZD minus ZC. So this will become G by GC okay rho B minus rho A into ZD minus ZC. So you know ZD minus ZC is equal to R okay. So here I will substitute in the last equation. So here I will substitute delta P that is PA minus PB is equal to G by GC RM and rho B minus rho A. Simply this will become delta P is equal to G by GC RM rho B minus rho A. So this is the result.